Hi, my name is Josie and I'm the Manager of Customer Success here at EdSight. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a pictograph question. I'm going to start on the Create Question page. I'm going to choose Subject and then I want to make sure that Math is selected and I'm going to go down my list to find my pictograph answer question and click Create Question. My question editor will open. The first thing I'm going to do is enter the question name, sample. I can enter an optional stimulus here, but I don't need it. So I'm going to enter my stimulus here. This is basically the story that students are going to read that will tell them how to fill out the pictograph. So Mark had a part-time job. He earned um, three. $300 in January, $400 in February, and $500 in March. Okay, let's click OK. And now we want to enter instructions and prompt. So each dollar bill represents $100. Complete the pictograph below showing how much money Mark made each month. Okay, perfect. So now we need to actually set up our pictograph. So we're going to click on the settings button and our row label is month and our column label is money saved. Um, we're going to switch that. We want it to be money earned. Okay, select image. We have a dollar bill. Well, that works for this question, but if you wanted to change the image, you would simply click the select image button, choose the image that you wanted, and insert it there. Next, we need to change the labels. So we want this to say January. I want the initial value to be zero. I want to enable drag and then um, the expected value is three because it should be three dollar bills which would equal three hundred dollars. The next one would be February and again I want my initial value to be zero. I want to enable drag and I want the expected value to be four since you earned four hundred dollars. Next, it would be March, again, zero. I'm going to enable drag, and the answer here would be $5 bills because here I'm $500, and now I don't need a fourth row, so I'm going to delete it by clicking the red X. If I wanted to add another label, I could add, click this Add Label button and add a new label. I'm also going to change the point value Right now, this question is only worth one point, but because there are three expected answers, I'm going to change the point value to three. I'm going to click Done, and it looks like my question is all set up. I'm going to go over to the student view to make sure that the question looks exactly like I want it to look. It does. Students are able to drag the dollar bill to illustrate how much money Mark has earned, and I'm ready to go. If you have any questions about this or anything else on EdSight, please feel free to click the help or feedback buttons located at the bottom of your screen.